The Gambia Teachers Union Cooperative Credit Union held its eighth annual delegates meeting on Saturday at the Honorable Babakar Ojuf Conference Center in Brikama. The event was themed cooperative model contributing towards UN Sustainable Development Goals. The annual gathering provides members with an opportunity to understand the current state of the credit union, engage in meaningful discussions, offer suggestions, and make informed decisions that positively impact their lives and their families. Delegates from all regions of the country were in attendance. In his opening remarks, GTU CCU Chief Executive Officer Dauda Kujabi emphasized the importance of maintaining the financial stability of the credit union. Over the past years, we have taken significant steps to enhance our liquidity. We have diversified our investment portfolios and optimized our asset liquidity management. This, is, this, is approach, this approach is not only, only does not safeguard our members' deposit, but also ensure that we, have, we, we can meet the demand for loans. We will continue to monitor market conditions and adjust our strategies accordingly to maintain robust liquidity level. We all understand that for us to survive, we must have the, the required liquidity so that we can respond to the loan demands of our members. Currently, our members have very high appetite for loan because they want to improve their socio-economic well-being. We understand that building a house is a challenge and it requires a lot of fun. So it's our responsibility as staff and board to respond to this demand and we can only do this by mobilizing resources within ourselves. We have also collaborated with the government of the Gambia, especially the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education, MOHAS, the Minister of Agriculture, our new friend. I'll get into the details why we call them our new friends. We all know that cooperatives are beyond what we think they can do. We have a role to contribute to the, to the socio-economic development of this country, and this cannot happen in the absence of food security. We have successfully paid MOPSI salaries over the years through our branches across the country. Equally, we are the host of the school improvement grant where when money is available, teachers can have access, um, principals to, can have access to support projects and also enhance teaching and learning in their various schools. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Association of Cooperative Credit Unions in the Gambia, the apex body of all credit unions in the country, Mr. Ansumana Sanyang reported that GTU CCU boasts a total savings of $1.1 billion and a membership exceeding 43000 I also want to go on record to confirm that for the first time, as of March 31st, 2024, Total GTU savings have surpassed $1.1 billion. <laughs> this is the first of a credit union in the Gambia who has surpassed a billion dollars mark. This is a huge accomplishment, and we thank both the management and board, and of course, you, the members, for believing in the system, for trusting the system and for making sure that you are you stood by your credit union to deliver these remarkable results. Equally, your assets over the years have grown. Statistics have shown that your asset is now at $1.2 billion. This is also remarkable because even this edifice that we are here, that's the, this is the only credit union in the Gambia that had such. And if you all recall, back in February, we even host an international event here. And the reviews we have received were very positive, and I've shared this with the management of GTCCU, from Akoska to all the credit union, the countries that attended, we are very pleased with the venue, we are very pleased with the structure, and of course, we are very pleased with all what was provided to them during the course of the regional meeting. The president of the Gambia Teachers Union, Mr. Ismail Sisi, highlighted that DCS teams serve as a significant reminder of their mission and a broader impact they can have on society and the world. He stressed the importance of investing in training and systems to meet regulatory requirements without comprising service quality. We are confronted by economic uncertainties, regulatory changes, technological advancements, 
and shifting member expectations on credit unions. These contemporary issues require not only our attention, but our collective action. The global economy remains unpredictable with fluctuating interest rates, inflationary pressures, and geopolitical tensions. If you look around the world today, sometimes some professors or some philosophers will say the world is no longer a safe haven for humankind. These factors impact our members' financial stability and our institutions' profitability. We must stay vigilant and adaptable to these changes, ensuring we continue to provide value and security to our members. Ensuring compliance with regulations requires continuous education and training and adaptation. We must invest in training and systems to meet regulatory requirements without compromising our service quality. And that should be a continuous process. Therefore, we must advocate for regulations that support the growth and sustainability of our institution. Our voice is critical or crucial in shaping policies that protect our members while allowing us to innovate and grow. The Minister of Trade, Babakar Ojuf, a pioneer of the union, encouraged the CU and staff to remain bold and resonate to ensure the continued growth of the union. That already, in less than 30 years, we have put together savings of over one billion dollars. I think that is a great achievement that we deserve to recognize as members and see that as a major achievement. It's the first time it's happening in this country that a cooperative has generated such amount of money on its own over this short period. So when I look back, I look at the days we were working from GTU headquarters to Westfield, all of us, because we could not afford even transport to those who drafted the original documents. And 27, 28 years down the road, what we are talking about today, I thank God. I thank God, I thank God several times that we did not waste our time for nothing, that we did not invest in nothing, we invested in something, that is today paying dividend to people who were not even in school when this thing was started. So Alhamdulillah, and I encourage you, CEO and your staff, to remain resolute and be bold. Guest speaker Sana Dabo elaborated on the cooperative model, stating that credit unions foster a culture of cooperation, democratic values and shared prosperity. Credit unions, through member participation and local investments, contribute significantly to this national vision by extending financial services to who? The underserved, supporting green initiatives, and of course, enhancing financial literacy. You are unique in that sense because you are investing in financial education, financial literacy of members, where private initiatives, private sectors, don't find that very uh, uh, attractive in terms of returns on investment. So in that respect, you are unique. Action in credit unions fosters a culture of cooperation, democratic decision making, and shared prosperity. The mission of GTU-CC is to provide fair, honest, and proactive leadership along with necessary skills and knowledge to guide the credit union, ensuring a safe and sound environment for members to invest in and rally on full microfinance production and services. Reporting for Kirfato, I am Ramatulai Jao.